All right, coming into this room. Now, I like to do this room right here. You don't have to. There's actually three different ways to get into this room. Hold on, we'll get these and then back away. I don't know if you knew you could swoop backwards in this game. I think that's kind of cool. All right, but come up over here. We got another item, and there's another guard over there that's sitting next to a switch. So I like to hit it with the blunt arrow, and he'll just stand there. He doesn't even turn to turn the switch back on. He just stands there. And we can pick him off because he's in the dark. And the two guys up top won't see. They're a little suspicious, but that's about it. Okay, so we still want to be silent. And we got the light switch off over here, but there's another item on this desk that's in the light. Get the item and get back in the dark. Alright, very cool. Now, this corner of the room is also in the light. You want to hit the switch. They can see you over here. Okay, you got a candlestick. There's an item. No, wait, not this drawer. The one on the bottom. Alright, and there's a crate up here on this side. It's actually got another light switch on it. You want to get it as quick as you can. That guard over there on the ramp can see you up here if you don't. Okay, and a chest behind you. Some broken glass right in front of it, but that's never been an issue for me. I don't think you have to worry about that too much. Now there's a window over to the right. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I want to show you that later. And we already pickpocketed that guard, so... Might as well just plug him in the head. Alright, now this guy will run off. We can get the headshot on him. If not, he just runs off in the corner and you can beat him down. He's pretty much harmless. Well, we got a document over here. Got some more coinage in this box. Now this doctor has got a key on his back. And technically, you don't even have to get that key right here if you don't want to. If you're not going for loot, you don't even have to worry about that. But I'm going for the thieving challenges, so I'm going to grab it. There's an anchor beam up top at the end of this ramp. And we want to go up because there's another ramp on top of this one. It's got one item on it. It's hard to see, but there it is. And that's the only thing up here. You don't even have to run down the length of the ramp if you don't want to. And we're going to go back down. Right back down to this ramp because it's next to the door to where we came in. <laughs> There's those two guards we took out. I like to take out those two guards right there. Because they patrol the entire length of this hallway. There's a room way down at the end and a room after that. And those two guards patrol that whole area. So we don't even have to worry about that now. And you got a knife sticking out of this mannequin for some reason. Okay, into this room, hop on this cabinet, and there's a ledge over to the left. And this gear over in the corner is the only thing in this room. Now, this next room right here, there's a window over to the right. You can see a glimpse of light coming out of it. There's a secret room in there, and it's entirely possible that you would miss that room, because I did a bunch of times running through this. It was one of those things where I got to the end and the loot meter was like three quarters full and I'm going, where didn't I look? Well, I didn't look here. Over to the left, you can see here's one of Ector's mechanical heads. It's got the number one Someone on the back. In here recently too. And they had lighter boots than the ones. Two items on the desk. There's a document over here. And a wall safe. Now here's one of Ector's mechanical men. It's got the number one on his back. And when you grab this telescope, the guy turns and looks at you. Pretty cool, I think. Now, this combination lock, we got the number three and we got the number one. So if you put in the three and the one, then you just kind of play with all the other numbers until you get it. But it's four, actually. And there's our next collectible. Pretty cool looking. Okay, now see this vent over here? We can go back out the way we came in. I just wanted to show you there's a vent right here that takes you straight back into this room. This is the one right before we jumped on that cabinet. Yeah. So you can go either way. Okay, right in front of that, got another room. Or another hallway, rather. Now there's a piece of loot right when you come in. I just like to kill the lights, that's just me. But there's a loot on this, uh, pair of scissors on the shelf. 
And if you jump on top of the shelf, you can see you got two more items up here. And back down. All right, all the way over here. And you can see there's a guard sleeping in a chair. So, I'm gonna kill this light, grab the item on this shelf. Now, I wasn't really counting because I've been running my mouth this whole time. I wasn't really counting how many combat takedowns we have. We could just knock the guy out, but open. I'm gonna go ahead and wake him up. I haven't seen this before. Yeah, okay. And kill the lights. Now, there's a chest behind us. That key that we took off the doctor in the other room, and I said we didn't even have to grab that, there's a key inside this chest. It's exactly the same key. So if you're not going for loot, you can get it either way. It doesn't matter. There's also some food in here if you want it. All right, now there's a door over here on the left. You can see there's an item on top of that door. We were already in this room. We could have got that item already. This is where we took out the doctor and those two guards. And we already jumped up on this cabinet. And raided that chest and killed that switch. The only way to get that item is through this room. And we could have did it earlier. I just wanted to show you. There's three different ways you can do this. There's, again, one of the things I love about this game is the number of options that it gives you. Alright, kill this light, and there's an item in the middle drawer. Alright, and there's the, the lock for the key that we got, but don't forget the document on top of it. And we're in. Now in this room, there's a chest straight ahead. This has just got arrows in it. Not really sure why the watch has chests full of weapons just for us. Weapons that they don't even use. But that's all good. We're loaded up. Hop up this way. There's another chest over here. And this one you have to pick the lock for, but it's totally worth it. Come on, get this. There's actually five pieces of loot in this chest. It's like a whole dinnerware set. This is five of the 71 pieces of loot you have to find in this level. So this is totally worth it. Now back over here on this ledge, same as before. There's a hook. We've got to grab the hook. And that last hallway that we went down, I mean, if you thought that took a really long time, this one goes on for a ways. And again, very creepy stuff. We're just following dead bodies that died of the gloom. But again, like I said, you can't go undetected through this level and do combat takedowns at the same time. So like any game that has different types of challenges in its story missions, these levels are meant to be played through more than once. So that's all good. That's just like any game. So there's four thieving challenges, but Before we're actually going to do, you can only do three of them at a time. But I'll have to if I'm to pop. Okay, there's a guard right there. Get down, get down. No pushing. Sneak in through this way. Now down here, make a right really quick. There's a ring on the floor. And we're going to go into a cutscene over here. And Garrett just looked cool in this game, I think. I think the main protagonist for this game just looks really cool. I don't care if your mother's got the fucking gloom. She's not coming to live with us. <laughs> Okay, this is the Thief Taker General. Notice he's got like a crossbow mounted to his arm. Thief Taker General, sir. Now remember, Basso sent us here to steal a ring from this corpse. Hey, excuse me, sir. Which doesn't appear to be here. What did this body have on it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. No, I was just gonna get another body.
body when you came in and took over. You know, I don't ask for much. Respect. Yeah, this is not looking good. A stiff drink. Gold. Pretty ugly ring, too. And for my men to do what they're fucking told. Ah. Put his body in the furnace. And check it for coin. No point in wasting a bolt. Well, I guess you got to keep your men in line somehow. <laughs> That's well, one way. Dead of their valuables and their dignity. A thief taker general exceeds his own reputation. Time to steal that ring back. Okay, this room up here is kind of tricky. Immediately when you come in, there's a document in front of you. Don't forget the document or you won't get the thieving challenge. There's a guard right here in the dark and three other guards on the left. This one's in the dark. You can do a silent takedown and they won't hear you. So that's all good. Now I'd like to equip the blunt arrow right here. There's a switch next to this guard that controls that door that keeps opening and closing. Wait for it to close and then hit the switch and the door will stay down. Now I like to start doing headshots, since we're in the dark. Boom, very nice. Oh, and it didn't even alert these guys. A lot of times they'll get this... That little eyeball above their head will turn yellow. But you're in the dark, so it's all good. And again, I don't know how many combat takedowns I've done so far. I wasn't counting. I've just been running my mouth the whole time. So we'll get one right here. And the reason why we had to take these guards out... Ah, he's sitting on it. That happens sometimes. Yep, get out of there. There's an item on the floor right behind them. But if you wanted to do this level with the undetected thieving challenge, that approach works too. Just that last guard, you would have had to have done another headshot on him. Okay, so there's a whole other room in here. And if you decide to just come into this room without taking those guards out first, you get to listen to this whole conversation that they're having about cock rings. I swear to God, I'm not making that up. But we got another door over here. This is the crossbow guard we passed on the way in. He's got a coin purse, and we probably have enough combat takedowns. We could have just done a stealth takedown here, but why risk it? And there's another item next to him. Okay. So we can totally get out of here now. We've done everything there is to do right here. The way the Thief Taker General went is that way, but that door is locked. So we have to go through the vent to get in. And down the vent. Just snow everywhere. Oh, got a little bit of lag going on. My game always lags right there, I don't know why. And we're in his office. That's a strong bonus. There's an item on the Another desk, the and then this is a puzzle. Perhaps. This safe has a puzzle on it. Like you see this picture up here? That's the puzzle. You want to make this picture look like that picture. It's not really that tough. Alright, moving around. And up, oh, went one too far. Hold on, gotta back up. There we go. And that's it. We're in. Nobles never miss an opportunity to admire their own crest. Considerable amount of gold in here, plus Cornelius Greaves' ring. Which is why we came here in the first place. And this is gonna trigger another cutscene. Now that is all of the loot in this entire level. All we have to do now is get out of here, have which that's kind of a trick too. Friend. But it's not over until I get out of here. Now since we're not going for staying undetected, we can, you know, we can fight our way out of here if we want to. You can also do this really, really stealth if you're going for that particular challenge. 
we got two guards over here. We'll swoop past them and duck down. So that's kind of risky doing that, but it works more times than it doesn't. Got a guard right here. Take him out quick because he starts patrolling. If you wait too long, he starts walking away, which isn't good because there's another guard right there. He's barely awake, so if you move slow enough, you can get past him without him seeing you. But if you try to do a stealth takedown on the other guard, it wakes him up. And there's a poppy on the right, if you need that, which we don't. And this is all cool. I'm really liking the scaling walls mechanic in this game. It's pretty sweet. And up in this window. Now, this courtyard out here, this is the really tricky part. There's a dog out here, which doesn't help. We want to stay in the dark. There's two ways that you can get out of here, and I'm going to show you both of them, actually. One way is up to the left here on that box, but let me show you something real quick. There's a box over here that's got choke arrows in it. We don't really need those, but if you do, there you go. I think they're to silence that dog if you want to. But there's a window up there on the right. You can go up this way and follow these ledges, but that same building with the window has a back entrance. So let me jump down here real quick. There was the window up there on the left. I'll get back in the dark real fast. And the dog sees us. There you go. That's what the choke arrows were for. Okay, so all the guards are going over this way. All right. See those stairs right there? That's the back entrance to the building. You can go in through the upper window or through this back entrance. And they take you to the same place. There's the exit. And here's the window you would have come in if you followed those ledges. All right, and there's the way out. Now hold on a second, let's check our objectives. All right, pick 10 pockets, 10 combat takedowns, and lift all of the loot, we did it. And again, you can't do combat takedowns and remain undetected at the same time, so there you go. We're all done here. Very, very cool. It's a wall of good night. Can't say I'll miss this place. Okay, y'all, hey, and I got an, uh, <laughs> got an achievement too. Very nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.